Well, it ain't Genesis, but that's not much to say. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Terminator Dark Fate. Yes, this movie is not as bad as Genesis. That's actually one of my favorite reviews that I ever did, especially when I first started doing it back in 2015. But man, this movie isn't far off. Now, a lot of people have been commenting about a lot of different things for this movie. The kind of very heavily forced sort of feminist ideals to it, the retcon slash kind of story butchery of certain aspects of the Terminator franchise. But what I'll say is this, the plot is messy, it's rough, but it works fairly decently pacing wise as well as entertainment wise as a somewhat passable early 2010s Fast and Furious movie. But as a Terminator movie, it's horrible and its dialogue is abysmal. And that's because, guess what everyone, this guy got a job again. David S. Goyer, the hack of the film industry, one of the worst screenwriters in this entire business. This guy has gotten so many jobs in the last little while and I continue to be baffled as to why. You want to know why Batman v Superman sucks so much? This dude. Man of Seal had so many issues? This guy. You want to know why the Blade movie started off well but eventually they became more and more dumb? It's because this guy was a part of them more and more. This guy is one of the reasons why this movie has a lot of issues. Essentially this movie replaces Skynet, John Connor, the idea of the resistance, and then copy and pastes it, changes the names, and that's this movie. Linda Hamilton is good, and it's great to see her again as Sarah Connor, but her dialogue is so forced at times. There's a point of the movie where I was so frustrated with how over the head her dialogue was, I wanted to smash my head against the wall. The woman from Hulk Catch Fire, who plays Grace in this, she's not bad either, but her dialogue just kind of makes her crabby and a bitch. There's a lot of times where I was interested in her character, but then she would just say stuff that just made me go, oh man, wow. This has been talked about for quite a long time with the whole idea of a strong female character. And movies can do this well. Hell, you want to know a movie that did this better? and wasn't this so forced on the head? Terminator 3! Clara Danes, who plays John Connor's future wife, she was more of an established strong female character than these two are because it's so forced over your fucking head in this movie. You turned one of the best female characters in action movie history into a political statement. I hated this. I couldn't believe the crap that was coming out of their mouths. There is some points in the film where I just didn't get what they were doing. For instance, this Super Terminator guy, to find the girl that he's after, instead of just picking up a cell phone and finding out where he is, because, you know, that's what they did in the third Terminator movie, he has to go to a data center to literally then go to another center to get more information. It's so stupid. There's so much shit that just convolutes, muddles, and dirties the script. I can't believe that this got passed. The directing is somewhat decent, the action scenes are okay, but the story is just so much garbage. The best part of this movie, the best part, is Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, because he's a Terminator who's been living a life for the last 20 years, and he installs drapes. That's the best part of the damn movie, because I was having jokes in my head about a Terminator home renovation show. Like, imagine coming into a house and they're gonna remove a wall and be like, your wall would be terminated. That, that's the best part of this movie. There's other parts I'm gonna mention after I do my rating because there's some spoiler ass shit in this movie that just, I can't believe they did it. And considering how much flack other medias have gotten for doing what they did, and yet they went with it, just baffles me. Terminator Dark Fate has an absolutely garbage dialogue script, a very, very muddy and very insulting plotline ter in terms of the franchise, as well as just, just some eyebrow raising, gag inducing garbage in this movie. The action's alright, I guess. The set pieces are literally beat for beat for the second movie, almost, except in Fast Forward. In the end, Terminator Dark Fate isn't as bad as Genesis, but holy crap, it comes very close. The fact that people are saying that this is the best Terminator movie since Terminator 2 can go suck one, because this movie gets a 2 out of 7. 
So, as for spoilers, they kill John Connor before the credits are over. You know, everything that was done, all the sacrifices, all the losses, all of the tribulations and whatnot that the characters went through in the first two movies? Nah, fuck it. They alien threed John Connor. They literally killed him before the movie started, and they replaced him with the exact same plot line, except instead of Skynet, it's Legion. And they don't explain any of it. There's so much shit that is just not explained this entire movie. There's so many plot elements that have no ramifications or build up or explanation. And I'm not talking about how Arnie's there to kill John, despite the fact that Skynet doesn't exist. That kind of does make sense, but the idea that they've just randomly been sending Terminators throughout time, if they could do that, if they could send a bunch of Terminators, one basic, then one super one, and then basic, 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 why did you just send them all at once? That's what I mean. This script is fucking dumb and that's because it's David S. Gore's writing. Alright, I'm I'm done. I'm done talking about this. Anyways guys, if you like this review, leave a like and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. But god damn it, just rent it, because this movie's bad. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.